Okay. Hello. So today I want to talk to you about something I'm super excited about, which I've been doing recently. As you can probably tell, I like to start lots of new things and I have been continuing with it. Okay. So I started the gym and I keep going. I started body con and I keep going. I started cold showers and I've still been doing that. It's been like a week. Um, and I missed one day. Uh, yeah, I missed one day and I just forgot about it. Um, but, but I did it the next day, so I didn't really break the habit and I'm going to keep doing it and it's been going great. So low dopamine mode, um, or dopamine detox or any of this kind of stuff. I didn't really do it before and it sounded like a stupid idea. It's basically try to keep your dopamine low, try to not be too happy. Um, and the idea is that you're so unhappy because you're not doing any, like you're not playing video games, you're not like, you're not having sex, <laughs> this kind of stuff. Try to bring all of the highs down. Um, and then what ends up happening is the smaller things in life actually become fun and you, you become happy from things that you wouldn't usually have been happy from. So for example, when I was in uh, school, I played a lot of video games. And so it became like, I would go to school, not enjoy it. Even I was in like a really good ballet school, even at like the Royal Ballet School. I was at a great ballet school with great teachers. And still I would not enjoy my time at school. Then I would come home and I'd either play video games or watch like Twitch. So it was, I was watching people play video games and that was really high dopamine for me. So I would be really excited to get home <laughs> to get that dopamine spike and it would even get really bad like I would stay up late it would be like one o'clock and I would have to get up at seven so I'd have really really bad sleep um it would interrupt my homework yeah just lots of bad stuff because I was not enjoying the things I could have been enjoying if I just cut all of the bad habits all of the high dopamine activities that you love now um if you just cut all of them then what's left is a really boring life <laughs> but like initially, initially boring, at least to you, you think, oh, this is so boring. This is so crap. Um, and most people will probably agree. Um, if you just spend all your time working, it sounds like, oh, that sounds so bad. But if you have nothing really fun to do, no drugs, <laughs> um, then you end up doing like good things and enjoying them. So now I go to the gym and I most of the time enjoy it. I was going to say I love it, but I don't always love it. Sometimes I'm like, oh, fuck, I don't want to go to the gym. But it feels better than when I was playing video games because then I'd be really enjoying the video game and then think to myself, do I want to go to the gym? And usually the answer was no, I don't want to go because the video game is more fun because it's made to be addictive. Same with uh, social media. So I'm a lot better now. Uh, this year, yeah, this year I'm a lot better. Like, uh, like the past 365 days, I've been a lot better at not scrolling on TikTok, uh, not scrolling on Instagram. I even to the point, okay, I even have deleted Instagram off my phone and I only use like the business suite so I can post to Instagram and I can see DMs, but I can't go through the, like the doom scrolling. Um, you might think to yourself, oh, I don't really have a problem with scrolling on Instagram and that's fine. Then you don't need to delete it. But for me, it was so addictive that I had to change the environment in order to get away from the problem. So, yeah. Um, so back to the low dopamine stuff. I recommend it to everyone. <laughs> I mean, I've been doing it for a week, but so far it's been really, really nice. And so little things have been very enjoyable, um, even like walking has been more enjoyable. Oh, okay. It's even like, I don't listen to music anymore because music is too high dopamine. So usually I would listen to music on my way to work and I'd be like happy and smiling and then I'd get to work. My music would turn off. I take my headphones off and then I'm slightly less happy. I just be like, ah, oh, damn, I wish I could hear my favorite songs or a new playlist or whatever it is. But now I don't listen to music. I just walk in silence, a robot. <laughs> Um, and it sounds bad at the beginning, but then you get used to it. And then that's your new, I don't know how it works really, but I guess your dopamine like levels out. So it would have been high from the music. Um, and then when you take off the music, it would be low. But now there's no music. Your baseline just goes up to 
like neutral. It's it's no longer good or bad. It's just like, okay, this is the way it is, you know? Um, and then comparatively, the work is not as awful. It's actually enjoyable sometimes. Wow, how could it be? <laughs> um, yeah, I've even had this thing uh, where on my phone, I've made a focus group. If you know on iPhone that you can have like work focus, do not disturb focus. Um, and I've made like work, do not disturb, fitness. And I have one called low low dopamine mode. And it's like, I push a shortcut and on the shortcut, it makes the volume, no, not the volume, the brightness go down. It puts me in airplane mode. I can't actually check because my phone's recording now. It also changes the gray, uh, the the color filter. So it's in gray, so black and white. So the phone is really boring. <laughs> um, and also, yeah, of course it's in airplane mode so no one can message me. So I try to keep my phone in this mode more often. Um, and I even put the shortcut on the like task, the, the task pad thing at the bottom. So it's whatever focus I'm in, I always have the option to go into low focus mode and it's the most accessible one. So it's on the right hand side. Um, and so, yeah, I'm a bit harder to contact, but most of the people close to me know that I'm gonna call them anyway, uh, if they message me. Uh, so that's not really a problem. Um, and yeah, it's been really good. I'll I'll try to keep doing this uh, and I'll get back to you guys in like a month. And and if it's great, then I will start proclaiming everyone must do low dopamine. And actually, I have this friend, um, this Christian girl, uh, who I think I knew, yeah, I was in Estonia like five years ago and she was one of the dancers there. Or she is one of the dancers there still. Uh, and I was always like so confused with how she could be so happy about little things. Um, like, cause she wasn't drinking. She wasn't doing anything like normal. She wasn't playing video games. And I never understood how she could be so happy with everything. Um, but now I slowly am getting it. And I had a call with her and I was like, Hey, you know, I should probably speak to you about this. And she was like, ha, ah. like she was just laughing so much. Cause she was right, and everyone likes to be right. So yeah, all right, give it a try, and yeah, I'll talk about it again in a month. And if it doesn't work out for whatever reason, then I'll also explain that. So yeah, see you.